eyes are not only the windows to your soul, but also your body and your health. Did you know that? That they hold visible clues to diseases long before the other symptoms show up. Some 61 million adults in this country are at a risk for vision loss, but only half saw an eye doctor in the last year. That's not good, says Dr. Christopher Starr. He's an ophthalmologist at the Weill Cornell Medical Center in New York and joins us at the table. So you're at parties and people walk up to you and get right in your face and say, what do you see, Dr. Weil? What do you see? <laughs> like you just did in the uh, green room back here. Well, yes. You're not supposed to All tell the time. people that. that was <laughs> so what can you see in, in people's eyes in terms of their health? Well, um, you, we really require a lot of equipment to look into eyes and see things in great detail. But the eye is unique in the body in that we can examine blood vessels. We can even examine the brain. The optic nerve is part of the brain. And we can see that in great detail on our eye exams. And it's the only place in the body where that's possible. And so when you see, what do you see? So, well, uh, ideally we see perfectly healthy everything, uh, mm -hmm. but sometimes we do see problems. Uh, mm -hmm. The optic nerve, for instance, which is an extension of the brain, if that is swollen on an eye exam, that can be the indicator of a brain tumor. It can be a mm -hmm. stroke. And in some cases it can be MS. Multiple sclerosis is often diagnosed on eye exams first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We also look in the back of the eye in the retina. There are blood vessels, veins, uh, arteries. Uh, and if those are abnormal, if there are little aneurysms or changes in the caliber of those blood vessels, that can be the indicator of hypertension, chronic hypertension, which might not have been diagnosed by your primary care doctor. Uh, also, diabetes is mm -hmm. very common uh, and often picked up mm -hmm. uh, on eye exams first. Similarly, strokes. Stroke and yeah. little, we can see little tiny strokes in those blood vessels. And sometimes that can be the indicator that there's atherosclerotic disease in the carotid arteries, which could lead to a massive stroke if not detected. So sometimes the eye exam is, is valuable, like you said, life and death sometimes. Since so many common diseases can be detected yes. by an optometrist or ophthalmologist, how often does this happen that someone comes in for an eye exam for glasses and turns out comes out knowing that they're at risk for common disease. It happens a lot, yeah. and which is why we recommend regular eye exams. Uh, and it really depends on your age uh, and risk factors. Um, but in starting general, in what, you know, you starting in childhood, certainly, you know, we mm -hmm. want to screen kids for, for diseases. Uh, but the formal recommendation as adults, really by the age of 40 and beyond, we recommend regular eye exams. Uh, if there are problems, they're more frequent. And if you're fine, every two or three years is usually adequate. Um, but if you're between 20 and 40 and you say, oh, I see, well, I don't have any problems, my eyes are fine, it's still recommended to be seen because some uh, asymptomatic problems like glaucoma or even tumors sometimes inside the eye can be completely asymptomatic and detected on routine visits. It, well, it seems to me this ought to be part of every medical exam then. Yeah. Well, yes, but uh, ophthalmologists and optometrists are really the only ones who can really get in there and with and we have all the equipment. You need a lot of equipment to, yeah. to really get so, in there. And but I think what Charlie's thing. saying is part of our preventative regimen, exactly. not oh, only absolutely. to get your regular physical, you should also go uh, see yes, an Yes, it should be considered part of your regular general health. Yeah. My grandmother used to tell me that carrots make your eyes better. Yes or no? <laughs> Beta carotene is very good for the eyes, as are many other uh, healthy I'll take that as things. A yes. Yeah, it is. So it is. Good information. Green leafy vegetables, broccoli, all of those omega-3 fatty acids, flaxseed, nuts, all of that is very good. And protecting your eyes from the sun. UV blocking is critically important. Thank you. We're great about sunblock, but we're not so good about our sunglasses. Really good to know. Thank you, Dr. Christopher Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you.